This is Observius bringing you guys another League of Legends commentary, and this will be technically game 15 in the uh, low elo marathon that I've been doing, but I'm going to go ahead and label this one 14 just for consistency's sake, uh, so people don't ask where's 14 uh, when uh, later on when they view the whole series. So. Uh, game 14 didn't quite record onto the uh, low replays, that's why I'm not replaying it, but I'm going to be uh, duo queuing this game with Husky Will, uh, another person who watches my YouTube videos. So, right here you uh, can see that everything seems like a little bit different, I want to say. On the loading screen the names seem to be a little bit, I don't know, it feels like almost more TV-ish uh, as far as just the way everything looks. I did go ahead and turn down the game sounds by a little bit. Uh, you can go ahead and look at that real quick over here. Turn on the last volume a tiny bit. Uh, I also uh, turn down the PC volume a little bit as well. As uh, whatever the PC's volume is at will affect how loud the YouTube video is overall uh, for viewers. So you can see I haven't really grabbed a level of anything yet, and that's because we have a lease in jungling. And so he wanted to gank blue while well, I was a little bit concerned because part of me wanted to take saplings for the lane and for maybe taking the jump. But I said, alright, I'm going to take root. Here's Annie flashing out. I go ahead and root the singe. Annie looks like she's going to get away with two bars left. We're looking around possibly to get some kills. Leeson's pinging the uh, blue buff itself. There's fiddlesticks. The jungler for team blue. And... He's going to be playing it rather safe here, uh, so hopefully Minions he'll be silly and run into uh, this bush, but I don't think anyone's going to reveal themselves. Ye, of course, hanging around by the wolves, just sort of scouting around for people to uh, jump on, or at least zone them away. You can see I started off with that Mikey pendant, and that was mainly just so I could toss saplings all day, but uh, as far as the compositions goes, we're going to be having a Lee jungle. Looks like we're going to take their wolves too. That'll be that. And is of course already in her mid lane. And... We're probably going to send Lux being vein bottom with... EE, if that makes sense. And I'm of course going to be top. So, it's going to be a vein knee bottom, which is a little bit unconventional, but whatever works. We did get up on a little bit of experience, so you can see I'm almost level 2 from that. I don't even think I was in range of the wolves, so that's fairly interesting. Bottom lane is of course getting pushed by the Pantheon Talon lane, as this is of course the Talon patch, so he is of course going to be interesting there. Now, here's Singe, I'm going to start trading with Singed. Basically I hit 2 before him, so I'm going to throw down a sapling and then root immediately. I'm running my AP carry page for Maokai uh, in lane, which means flat AP quintessences, AP per level blues and yellows, and uh, magic pen marks. So around level 5 is when I'll start passing up the flat stuff, and doing fairly good damage to Singe. Now already I've got him pushed up, but he's not really hurt, uh, so that's a little bit interesting there. He doesn't have any ability power, so he doesn't to do too much with it. I go ahead and do a fairly decent amount of damage to him right there in that burst. He's going to be starting to use that first uh, health potion. Now he only has a mana potion left in his inventory. You can see at level 2 he did pick up that poison. And Annie looks like she's pushing Lux back in lane. Fairly interesting there. These guys probably have an experience advantage on the bottom lane, on uh, Team Purples, I guess, I should say. And so they're not doing too well. Uh, I have to admit that E Vane is probably the best lane combination. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and start dueling Singed, and his poisons actually did a lot of damage to me. Uh, he was definitely beating me in that duel, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and recall here. Might stay in lane, I'm not sure. But going back to really quickly on this duo right here. They're okay champions for the overall composition, but as far as lane, they don't really have any CC aside from that being knockback. Uh, which is going to be a little bit troublesome. Meanwhile, Fiddlesticks uh, tries ganking Lee Sin and gets hit by Lee Sin's Q. Uh, but Lee Sin's able to secure his blue buff, so he's okay. He's going to lose the small uh, lizards with that golem to Fiddlesticks. And that will be that. And it looks like he and Vayne are going to be able to hold their 
tower. And they should be able to with Yi's charge. But yep, yeah, I guess it's just because they are two carries, so they're gonna be a little bit weaker early game. You now you can see Singed, I've sort of baited into coming out here. He was being really skeptical, so I was hiding in this bush uh, for a little bit of time. So I was like, I'm gonna lose out some on some last hits, but I'm gonna kill Singed and then leave since it's pushed. Although I might come back. Yep, I'm gonna come back. Push this up to the tower. This is very risky of me, but I wanted to do this. Just so we lose a little bit more experience. And then I'll teleport back after recalling. I'm a little bit concerned about this lane because I know Pantheon is really strong early game and Talon and Pantheon are both assassins. So, I mean, if they're playing safe, so it should be okay. Leeson's coming in to gank Annie. That quick flash there was me recalling, so it takes me to the fountain automatically. But Leeson's asking if Lux can land the snare. It's not quite going to happen. Leeson's going to show himself, and it looks like this could possibly be a failed gank, it looks like. Yeah, I think Lux just ate a free Q, so that's going to be that. Since she did already appear in his lane, that it was pretty quick. I'm not certain if he used boots or what. I mean, it did take some time to get over there, but alright, he's going to let Faith check into me. There's the root, there's the sapling. I'm not going to be able to land the Q, though, since I was flung right about when I tossed down the slow. Lee Sin looking to gank the Pantheon talent lane. Uh, he hiding in the bush. Vayne recalled. Lux is also recalled, so uh, Lux isn't doing too well versus Annie, but that's okay. I'm of course just going to be clearing out this wave. And it's going to be fairly... Oh, I'm sorry, there's going to be a fight going on in the bottom with Eevee and Leeson versus Talon and Pantheon. Leeson's in trouble and he does give up a kill to Talon and an assist to Pantheon. He, of course, forced to flash out. And Leeson's going to even go ahead and say Panthe's OP uh, since that rework. So, I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but he is definitely a scary person to play against. Uh, Kai is, of course, going to go ahead and be two levels up on Singed. Hopefully he's going to hit level 6 off of these minions. I'll keep an eye on this just to see if that is the case. Because if it isn't, then that is a serious lead. And, nope, he's not going to hit 6. So, wow. I'm doing some work there. Uh, Lux and Annie still leaning. Uh, you can see that Lux was able to land that skill shot onto Annie a second ago, but wasn't really able to follow up with an auto attack since Annie does have that Tibbers. And Lux even using a clarity there, so she's playing relatively safe, and she's just trying to land that snare so she can follow up with a full combo. And then uh, the next time the combo set up, go for Annie. Here I am still going up against Singed. He did hit 6 now, so that's good for him. I'm going to go ahead and apologize to Lee since I see him coming up here to the blue buff and say that, well, Singed is a little bit too scared. He doesn't really want to leave the tower. Uh, I'm going to actually hang back here and see if I can beat him out again by just hanging around in the bushes. Uh, alternatively, I can be hanging around in this bush, and this bush is sometimes better, but it just depends. I'm going to go ahead and see Singed just standing there. So that's that. But at the same time, I also saw Lee Sin dueling Phil Stick, so I know that I have to kill him off because he does have that ghost on and his ultimate. So, getting a bunch of free burst on a Singed out of his tower. So, Singed is going to be taken even more low. I was going to say farther low, if that makes sense. And I should probably attack him right here. I don't for some reason. I just get focused too much on the last hits. I might have been able to kill him, maybe not, probably not, but he is in trouble over here uh, as Vayne was forced to go back and so he's going to be okay, but that's a little bit scary. I go ahead and initiate a recall for some reason and immediately cancel it. And that's mainly just because this is pushed up, Fiddlesticks is right here. I should probably leave, but my teleport is still on cooldown there's no real reason to leave. And you can see that I did rush a chalice instead of getting something like a tier. Uh, and this is mainly for the magic resistance, since I figure if his fling and his poison can't touch me, then that'll be okay. And I'm going to go ahead and even go ahead and turn this boot of speed into Merc Dreads, and just getting a bunch of early magic resistance, as that'll be 30 magic resistance from the chalice, and an extra 25 from here. So that's 55 magic resistance, 
a Negatron Cloak gives 48, so it's basically having a little bit more than a Negatron Cloak. So I figure I'm going to dominate my lane and or any ganks with all this spare match resist. An ally has been slain. Now, it looks like Pantheon was able to pick up the kill on Vayne on her tower. Unfortunate, tried playing safe, but the minions were pushed up, so she got a little bit baited there. And it looks like that ult, so Pantheon ulted on top of her. That's a little bit interesting there. Wasn't quite able to catch the action, I do apologize for that. Lux, of course, is still laning versus Annie. She lands the root and the AoE uh, slow, so that's fairly nice. Dealing a little bit of damage to Annie there. Pantheon and Talon are pushing this bottom tower fairly heavily. Yi gonna go ahead and alpha in, but with that ultimate, is just going to give Yi least some coming into cover. Not quite certain he's gonna be able to do anything. Uh, looks like he's fairly confident in his abilities. He's going after Talon, and it doesn't quite work out. And he does go ahead and go down to the Pantheon Talon lane. So, Lee Sin being a little bit angry there, uh, but the score is 3 kills to 4. We did get that early lead initially with that blue buff and wolf steel. No towers are down quite yet, so Team Purple is only one kill behind. If we go ahead and look at the last hits, I'm sitting at the top with 62, I'm dropping some harass down onto that singe to take him fairly low. He's going to go ahead and turn on his ultimate and run. But he's probably going to stick around just because he does get extra health regeneration with that ultimate on. Uh, so that will be that. But I'm sitting at 66 last hits. Uh, 43 for Lux. Their top person is Annie at 55. And 32 for Pantheon. So we're beating them in last hits on the top two. Fiddlesticks, it says, has no CS. That can't be right. I think they changed the... Last hits to show only when you visited after you visited the camps. So we have to visit, I believe, each camp to show that the minions are in fact killed for fiddlesticks. So no idea what that's at um, until later on in the game. Singe is at 24. Yeah, they're overall fairly low outside of Annie and maybe Pantheon. So we are beating them in last hits here. Now here you see him. Not really last hitting, I'm trying to bait Pantheon out. And I'm thinking, you know what, I was getting some MR, but I think I can take him since uh, I do have two levels on him. But I'm actually going to go and take the opportunity to recall while this Cannon Rider and minions are at the tower. And I'll teleport back and not really lose too much experience. And here I believe I make a bad choice and I get a Sheen, so I figure I'll be a little bit more bursty and I go ahead and get the Null Magic Mantle for the Merc Dreads, and I go ahead and start teleporting back up here. At the same time, he's getting drained by a double buff fiddlestick, so that's a little bit concerning, but it looks like with some Wuju style, he'll be okay. Pantheon showing his face around here, now he does have blue buff, so he can pretty much spam whatever he wants to do. I'm of course coming in from the side, I decided I'm going to go ahead and gank him, I hit him with that sapling, I hit him with my root and my Q, and... Oh my goodness, that Pantheon just destroyed me. He did. Oh, ow. Luckily he didn't have a spear, or that would be a dead Yi right there. You can see Fiddlesticks and Talon coming up to cover. But I can burst Pantheon at this point for maybe half health. He can burst me down to maybe, what was it, 40%? 30%? Uh, and he has lower cooldowns than I do. Fiddlesticks, though, he gets so very, very low I could kill him fairly easily. I'm not too certain if I'm going to die here. I'm, of course, just going to go ahead and say Pantheon's fed, um, because he does have a pickaxe and a longsword and a dorned blade. So it's almost like he has a BF sword, uh, just from the damage items that he has. Uh, that's 25, that's 35, so that's 45 damage. Yeah. Could be absorbed. See this Q? Oh, so, so very, very scared. I'm gonna go ahead and give up a kill to Pantheon. So that's gonna be fairly bad play by me there. He does get down to about quarter health, but he's not too low. But my main mistake was when I went back and I saw Pantheon was in lane, I got a Sheen to try to match his damage output, but I didn't really have anything to 
defend against him. I mean, I had MR. I don't have any armor uh, seals on this one, and so I'm actually going to be really uh, QQing or uh, complaining about a bit right here, just saying that Pantheon's fed. I don't think I can take him. And it's being sort of down at this part of the game. Uh, I am, of course, 1 1 1, so I don't know why. I just seems like we're doing pretty bad. The talent gets the jump onto Vayne, I think. The space bar there. Vayne does get exhausted, but it looks like she will be okay. I even glanced down here very briefly. And it looks like he wants to dive in here with his ghost. He's going to get up to three tower shots. And the reason he was baiting that was for the six was bolting in, so that will be a very, very dead Vayne. And nobody will die. So that happens. I'm trying to gank Annie, but it looks like she will get it away. Uh, she is escaping down to her buddies down there. So it looks like we're going to be having an impromptu team fight of sorts, maybe. Pantheon catching Lee Sin out of position. I'm going to be coming up to Pantheon to try to get him out of position. And I wasn't really able to do too much damage at all to Pantheon. You can see his health right there. I didn't auto attack after I rooted him, so I still have that Sheen proc on me. He's able to pick up a kill. On I go ahead and root Talon. We're able to pick up the kill there. So now the score is going to be 2 1 1 uh, for me. And team kills are going to go ahead and be 6 and 6 with still no towers down. So now it's pretty much a tie game outside of the minor advantages of slightly superior last hitting. And the only person who's not doing too well is our poor Husky Will playing Vayne. He's going to be 0 2 1. They couldn't really help that as it was versus a double assassin lane as a squishy and without any sort of support. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out this really big wave. Watch the sapling. Alright, got a queue. Annie is going to go ahead and take care of our minion wave at the middle lane. And Vayne's going to be pushing up to this bottom tower, which is going to go ahead and see Singed and Flee, since Singed could probably turn on that ultimate if he had it. Throw down that lovely pool of goo that gives an amazing slow and uh, fling poor Vayne into the tower with no minions to tank the tower for her. So, fairly good play there. Pantheon showing his face back at the top lane, so I'm going to try to poke him down a little bit. I did land that initial one, but it missed. You can see that just with Sheen and my AP per level runes, which gives me 77 AP, uh, the level 5 sapling at 17 minutes in the game just destroyed that entire wave. So, that is fairly nice. Bane finally coming out to defend against Sin. Uh, it looks like she was slightly pulled back there. She was waiting for Lee Sin there, I'm guessing. And... Talon's the one who's pinged, although that could be an outdated ping. Probably is. And that will be that. Meanwhile, of course, I'm going to go ahead and be trading with Pantheon. going to set up this defensive sapling. So that way, if he does push up to me, I'll at least get a free sapling onto him. And oh no! maybe have taken him, but I dropped my ultimate way too late, and so that was a bad calculation on my end, and the ultimate really wasn't able to do anything there, uh, which is, you know, pretty terrible. He's, of course, clicking to intercept Pantheon, but Pantheon's, of course, going to be jumping to the mid lane to go after Ant, and it looks like nothing's going to happen there, although Lux is fairly low. If he does land his W and even half of his heart your strike, which, remember, now has a shorter channel and slightly less damage, I believe, to match, but a lower mana cost. She will be very dead, so got to be a little bit concerned there. He, meanwhile, is, of course, taking over the top lane with blue buff, and he'll be looking to push this tower down, if possible. Or, it could be we are going to have a team fight of sorts here. Double buff that sticks of course, raining in his in, and a Lux laser just come out of the blue. He's going to go ahead and flash out. He thinks he's safe, but nope. Just the root damage and the landing of the sapling alone kill Fiddlesticks there, as he is a fairly squishy champion. Lux missing that uh, root versus Annie just play really safe here. It's one good Annie W. Uh, I mean, she doesn't have to tip hers. We'll pick off Lux. At the same time, Vayne is stuck landing in the bottom lane versus a Singed and a Talon. So if that's not going too well there. Uh, but, mm, I don't know if any of the double buffs from Fiddlesticks should be sitting here in the bottom lane. 
I guess I was waiting for someone to come up or something, but I'm going to go ahead and swing around to try to get to Annie. And I accidentally smart cast to the minion instead of Annie. So she's going to get out okay. She hit up a little bit of her ass, but not too much. Bane pushing off a little bit. Uh, going to play it safe. He, of course, already left the lane. He looks like he did take some harassment somewhere. Didn't quite see that on the map. I'm, of course, going to go for Sany. I could have rooted her here. Uh, kind of tempted to, actually. But Dragon's going to go ahead and get pinged, so we're going to go ahead and do Dragon. I'm going to go ahead and toss a, toss a sampling somewhere over here, I believe. Just so we have vision. But it looks like, no, I'm not going to do Dragon. Instead, it's interesting to go ahead and be chasing Bane. And so, Town's going to go ahead and appear right at Bane since Bane's not moving. Since she's going to be so low, now there's going to be a Tibbers drop down, a Fiddlesticks ultimate, and that will definitely win the team fight. Foolishly, I try to exit out over here, but it looks like my flash will make me okay. I'm not going to die. Oh, nope, there goes the Pantheon Gang. Pretty much right before he lands, or right as he lands, when he's visible on the screen, he immediately leaps. Kills me in like the first blink of Heartseeker. Uh, so that's that. And we do lose two more champions there. So I'm going to, uh. Again, QQ, since Pantheon just seems to be doing so much. But really, he's. They just have a really strong composition. So, outside of uh, what I was, go was going on at the time, they have singed, and I am going to go ahead and say right here that their singed is doing pretty bad. Uh, I mean, he's level 12, and I'm, le and I'm level 13, so that looks good. But. He hasn't really done too much significant things outside of scare the carries away uh, when they're caught alone, like Vayne over there running away from Singed. I mean, that, that was a decent play, but in the fights he hasn't really done too much overall. Pantheon's of course been scary in those 1v1s or even just twos, uh, where he's just really bursty for an assassin and tanky enough. Talon, I haven't really noticed too much. I mean, he's been there. Uh, his ultimate's definitely been putting out some damage. Uh, but I don't think he's on the same scale as Pantheon uh, for the moment. But that's because Talon has a better late game, I believe. Which I'm not too certain about that one. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and throw down the damage onto Talon and with Tower Shots. He knows how he didn't take damage from that. And he's going to go ahead and escape. And so. I have 391 move speed, he has 375, I know I can get in range to root him eventually, and so you can see me, I'm just going to go ahead and relentlessly chase this person until I can land the W that kills him. Minions are going to go ahead and try to slow me down, but it's not really going to happen, and I am going to go ahead and land the root right here, he's going to die, and you know what, I'm going to go this way. Oh no, it's their entire team. Oh well, now Blue Grot is on killing spree. I'm not worth more than 300 gold, uh, so that's pretty good. I'm going to be 541, and yes, I that was pretty risky play. I mean, I chased him pretty much down an entire lane. At the same time, though, because there were three champions in the bottom lane and Singed was left trying to split, he was able to get the bottom tower. Vayne, though, is going to be stuck versus Pantheon and Annie, and she is kind of alone. Uh, she was sort of being the bait in the mid lane uh, for Lee Sin and Lux, but they weren't quite in position, and so she ate a ton of free harass there. Uh, so I really need to see Vayne's HP and hope that she's not too bad there. But as you can see, we have really good board control, and that's something I'm just going to have to talk about. Uh, Pantheon getting spotted down here with Annie. Uh, this is a little bit scary. Uh, there's Fiddle Six coming in, there's Singed hanging around. Singed is all alone. You can see this. There's four champions up here, and then there's Singed. And so we're going to go ahead and get a free kill onto Fiddlesticks as he comes near this bush. Singed now is going to go ahead and be a little silly and get caught. We might be able to pick him off, but that goo could be doing the trick. Oh, no, the Lux Root is going to land. So it's the slow and the kick, and that's going to be another dead champion. And so we're kind of uh, getting back into things. Uh, it is going to be 12 to 13. I go ahead and catch Annie out of position. And so I'm going to go ahead and root her and keep her, but she's going to flee. And oh no, Annie Tibbers uh, doing too much. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the kill onto Pantheon. But Annie's shield plus Tibbers burning looks to be a good job. And she's going to go ahead and pick up the kill on Lee Sin with almost no health. 
Lux, however, is of course going to be able to pick up that kill with a good old laser into the fog. So that is what it's going to be. Meanwhile, there's a huge mini wave pushing this top tower. Looks like Fiddlesticks is going to get in time to save it and take experience along with Talon. Uh, but uh, we're going to go ahead and try to focus on getting dragons. I'm pretty sure we got the first one since it's not there. But I actually don't remember. Leeson's going to go ahead and call this game a grinder as uh, this is going to be a fairly fun out game. Now we are only 25 minutes in, but neither side seems to have a significant advantage. Uh, it is going to be 14 to 16, and they have two of our towers and we have two of their towers. So they are going to be up two kills. And Panther going to go ahead and be ulting in. That's a really good ultimate hit as far as hitting us, but he's just going to go ahead and get focused down easy. Talon wanted to go in there with his ultimate. He turned it off preemptively and then turned right back around. It looks like they're going to go ahead and retreat to the safety of the tower. At the same time, the Bill 6 is going to ult in. I'm going to reach him so he doesn't kill this too. Look, his teammates in line over there. I'm thinking we can maybe kill Fiddle, but no, I'm going to go ahead and flee. No, what am I doing? This is pretty darn bad for Team Purple. Even getting the aggro of the race, but it looks like with that Q, we will be okay. And so, happy things going on there. A little bit of a bad play by me. Fiddlestix even eating a tower shot. He's really low, but he should be able to drain one of these minions. Maybe, no, nope, they're all going to die really soon. But he needs to get out of there, or he's going to die. Talon gets spotted by this ward heavily out of position, but we're not really able to act on it since I'm still at low health. Being still at low health, he could probably kill one of us. Although both of us together could probably kill him. Uh, actually, I don't know. I might be able to kill him. But I'm going to go ahead, and instead of a clone, I'm going to go ahead and take out these top minions about to push this tower, I'm trying to reduce that. There are going to be three champs in the bottom lane, Fiddlesix more likely going to recall. But at the same time, he runs into Annie, and so he uses his ultimate to try to escape her. Annie, of course, not Annie, well, Annie does get rooted, but Lux being the person to keep this little bush awarded. I'm not too certain about this ward location. I mean, it's a decent ward location. I used to ward it there a lot. But I recently switched to the more conventional ward spots of if you're on blue warding this area. Since you can see this section, you can see if they're going that way. And if you're on, I mean, if you're on blue to ward this, if you're on purple to ward this, and then the opposites being this bush over here. As that would have been pretty good to know that they were there before he died to an ignite. Yeah. In any case, Vayne's going in after Annie. He eats a Tibbers and just dies. And so that's going to be that. And then here comes the Pantheon Ultimate. He's going to be in there for the cleanup. Gleason does go ahead and kick Pantheon, but that Q is too strong. I... Yeah, I go ahead and go down. And so Lux is going to go ahead and escape. And Leeson is, of course, going to complain. But Pantheon, he's got his Bloodthirster. He's got a Last Whisper. And he's 925. Uh, so I'm not too surprised that he's doing that much damage. And I'm kind of like this is the person I'm really scared of. Uh, although I'm not really showing it. As you can see, you know, I've got the Sheen. Oh, I did get a Sunfire Cape. That was my main thing for dealing with Pantheon get some armor and uh, health and then I'm just gonna go and go straight from Sunfire Cape to Lich Bane and then that'll be pretty much the core of my uh, A or not AP MR items as I'll have even more resist from the Lich Bane Chalice and the Mercury Jed so that's 25 30 that's 55 two, 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 two. there it is and that's going to be 85 MR from that alone. It's all looking into getting more armor. I'm going to go ahead and start the next dragon. Go ahead, and we're probably going to pack off this dragon. Since Singed and Talon are there, Leeson even preemptively popping his ghost. It looks like Phil Six is going to get caught out of positions by Maokai, and he's just going to melt. Talon's going to go ahead and throw out his ring. Ultimate is being caught in there. For the majority of the team fight, but it looks like Bane is going to go ahead and not die somehow from Singed Poison. 
just with that one auto attack, keeping Vayne alive. That was fairly clutch there. Uh, looks like we're going to go ahead and do Dragon again after we push down this outer tower. So that's going to be that. And this is going to be actually a little bit funny for this section. Um, as we're going to go ahead and kill this tower. And I'm going to be like, alright, let's go do Dragon. You know, we've, we've killed the mid tower. And like, no, we're going to push this turret. So, okay. Let's go push this turret. So, I go ahead and I start doing Dragon while he and Lux try to kill this tower. And it looks like they're going to get the tower. I'm going to keep going to the dragon. It's burning me. It hurts very, very badly. I don't really have the items to kill dragon. But I'm going to try to uh, get it lowish. And of course I'll be leaving straight after this. And you can see that they aren't really in position to stop it. They, if they were running straight here, would yeah, they wouldn't be here in time. Uh, although, Yi could get caught out of position if they look, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And so he's going to go ahead and get out scot free. Me and Lux are going to be recalling. Better hold my mouse on the minimap for the recall, as that should be soon. Yep, there's that. Quick flash. And Leeson and Vayne are going to be just standing out in the middle of the lane. This could be pretty bad for Leeson and Vayne. Leeson especially going to go ahead into the jungle and find an Annie with stun up and a fiddlesticks, but nothing's going to happen since those Annie and fiddlesticks at this ELO apparently just have really poor reaction times. And fiddlesticks and a ghosting singe are going to be chasing Lee Sin. They're going to go ahead and run into Yi, Vayne, and Lee, and they're going to think that we're all there, so they're going to go ahead and back off since they saw an extra person. And now, in fact, we are all there. They're going to go ahead and say to defend for Team Purple. I'm going to go ahead and drop saplings, and Leeson go ahead and says to follow Maokai. So now I'm like, okay, it's going to be follow the leader. I'm 669, so I guess this makes some sense. And you can see I got a chain vest and a rejuvenation bead. And that's mainly because at some point in the game I usually get a heart of gold, but I just really, really, really like Randuin's Omen. So I'm going to be getting that Randuin's Omen next for Pantheon. I'm going to go ahead and catch Annie out of position. Ruder, viewer, she just go ahead and flash. Vein uh, flashes. The Timbers did get, did hit that E, but he is going to be okay. Pantheon tried to get that kill, but it's not going to happen. And here it looks like we're going to go ahead and continue with this to go. I was trying to get them to come over here to this spot, as that's where they would be going, but wasn't able to quite do it. I run into the middle of them all. My ultimate does get down, and that will prevent a lot of the damage. There's the Lux Laser from the other talent. Fiddlesticks comes from over here, I guess, but he's going to eat the full Fiddlesticks, full drain combo. Vayne's going to go ahead and eat Singe Poison, so she's going to die. I just want to kill Singe, but he's going to escape. There's Pantheon right there. He could probably kill us, so I'm going to go ahead and back off for now. I'm going to throw a sapling if they're silly enough to follow. Singe was trying to uh, stick around, but the minions do go ahead and intercept that sapling. And I look away, and no, I need to kill Singed, and it looks like he's going to go ahead and pick up a kill on Singed and Pantheon there, so getting assists there, you can see that on the kill callouts on the right, something new for this update. And uh, speaking of that, um, they've added in Dominion items, of course they're going to be disabled for this game mode. If you, for example, look at Magic Resist, you can see Odin's Veil, it'll say unavailable, uh, but it gives you all of its basic stats. If you go over and look at the consumables, you can see Oracle's Extract, uh, which is basically like the other elixirs, uh, except that instead of lasting until death uh, for the Oracle's Elixir, it lasts for five minutes uh, and gives that champion stealth detection. So if they die, then they'd still keep it and other stuff. Also, the main reason that this is going to be the last video of the Low Elo Marathon is that there is going to be the end of Season 1, the soft reset, coming uh, very shortly uh, whenever they do a soft reset of these, or not a soft reset, I guess whenever they reset the servers in general, they're going to uh, end Season 1, do the soft reset of the uh, ELO rankings, and that will be that. And speaking of, at the start of this game, I was dead even, I believe, at 40 and 40. So, this will determine if I'm going to end the season positive or negative. Um, although, of course, all things balance with time. 
but we will in fact see exactly how well it's going. We are looking to be winning these last few team fights, but at the same time, the early game outside of that uh, initial jungle loss was uh, rather strong. You can see we're both checking into that bush. Thank goodness for them that we're right there. Looks like we're going to go ahead and start Baron, but at the same time, we're noticing that someone's coming around right here. Lee's going to go ahead and jump in, kick Fiddlesticks, and Lux Laser is going to go ahead and pick up the kill there. Uh, and so we're like, all right, maybe we should do Baron now. We're going to go ahead and throw out the Q, and it looks like, nope, we're going to go ahead and head out for Singed. Since he's trying to pull back, we're going to go ahead and root him. He wants to go back and do Baron though, so he's not even at this fight, neither is Lee Sin. And so we're going to go ahead and disengage, and we'll see exactly if anyone's going to come in here. Sin is, and he's going to just die. He tanked, he did his job, but his team wasn't in position, and so that will be the death of Sin. I'm going to go ahead and beat 7 7 15, as uh, I did get an assist on that last one. In any case, now that two of their ch champions are dead, we're going to go ahead and start preparing buff. That is just going to be fun. You can see with all the abilities being spammed, we're really getting to use that heal to sort of sustain. Uh, as, a, uh, as passive, is he gains 7% of his max HP every five abilities used around him. And that's kind of why he's like an anti-caster, somewhat like Cassidy's passive and his E. I'm going to throw my sapling, it's going to be off, but I'm going to dive in the middle of them. I'm feared, so I can't really throw down my R, but it doesn't matter because I have 150 magic resistance, 185 armor, and 2741 health. So I'm being fairly tanky while still doing a fairly good amount of damage. And here I'm really debating going in for the dive, but it looks like we're going to go ahead and go back instead. Dragon's doable. Gives a huge minion wave pushing the bottom lane, and so that is what we're going to go ahead and do. Uh, and uh, that's something else that uh, the purple team, and I think we keep calling the enemy team purple team, this is something that blue team hasn't really been good at doing, is they haven't been warding, uh, or at least just being aware or trying to stop dragons. Uh, we've gotten every dragon, if not, well, we've gotten most dragons, if not every single dragon in the game. Maybe we didn't get that first one, I wasn't paying attention, uh, or I don't properly recall. But I'm pretty sure we've gotten every single dragon in this game, and pretty much within a minute or two after it spawned. Um, so that is a lot of global gold, uh, which is sort of helping us snowball out of that initial loss. Now I've got my random into omen, I'm going to go ahead and save it for an abyssal uh, next, and that's mainly for the fiddlestick singed Annie combo, since I feel that now I've got an omen, I'm going to reduce Pantheon's attack speed, I'm going to just lower his armor in general, he won't be able to do too much. Uh, and the same for Talon, as Talon, after that one uh, gap closer to initiate, he doesn't really have too much mobility. He's heavily reliant on that rake to uh, be able to keep up with enemies. I can see Singed over here, and I could have been eating Singed Poison, but it turns out that's not going to be the case. And I was hoping he'd turn around this way, but he's going to go ahead and head straight to his tower. And so that is going to be fairly good play by him. My sapling does pick up two champions sitting over here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw another sapling over here. We see Talon going down to the tower over here. Pantheon is just waiting. Uh, Singed is going to go ahead and come out and eat the sapling. That's the death animation, apparently, if you aren't looking. Uh, at the sapling when it dies. And Bane's going to go ahead and sort of give away our position over here. And my whole plan with this was to start here and then rotate down to here and back door. But Yi gets caught horribly out of position. He's fear drained, silenced, and focused by Pantheon, so he's gonna die. Now this is a 5v4. I'm going to initiate, though, like some crazy, and my ultimate's not all on my team. Looks like we could possibly lose this team fight, but I might be able to kill the Fiddlesticks. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get greedy, dive in here pick up the kill onto Fiddlesticks, but now it's going to be me versus Pantheon, and Pantheon really tanky with that Wormog, so it looks like he's going to be getting an Atlas Impaler next, and he does have fairly good armor penetration with that last Whisper, so he's just working. At the same time, Pantheon's going to go ahead and ultimate into the mid lane, trying to catch up to Vayne, but not really going to be able to do so. Lux is going to be able to pick up the kill onto Singe, but she could be in trouble here, although... 
she's going to go ahead and be okay with that good vein knockback. And that will be that. Annie, of course, respawned and looking to do stuff, but there's not really too much blue team can do with this lull and the fighting since there is no Baron to take, there is no Dragon to take. At best, they could take their neutral buffs, but the only neutral buff that's up for us is blue. And we do have two champions in somewhat close range, but I guess they could try to steal this. At the same time, top lane is pushing for team purple uh, at the same time as bottom lane, so they really don't have too much space to do anything, but you can tell that they are all missing. So they're definitely just clearing their neutral camps, possibly recalling. Here I make a small pun, as Lee Sin says, Maokai, you rock, and I go something like I'm a tree. Um, Vane's going to go ahead and apologize for getting flung by Singed. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, that's Malphite, I'm tree. So, Maokai, you tree. Uh, can go ahead and just take this minion wave, doing a horrible job of last hitting. Actually, I got most of that wave except for one minion, so I guess not. Vane's going to go ahead and waste her stun, toss out that W, now she doesn't have her stun up. This is a really good time to hit. We see someone else is sitting in this bush. You can see Singed and Pantheon right there. I don't know if Annie is going to be able to fully charge her stun before the next team fight. Phil Sticks nearly steps in the bush. He does drop that ward so he does get spotted. I do go ahead and take a kill on him. I don't have a root, so I can't really do too much of anything. If they're not on my health, then I drop my ultimate over here. Pantheon gets completely cut off and obliterated by three members of my team. Then uh, Talon goes down. I do not have my root, but I my Q, but it doesn't matter because we're able to do what we can. But no, see all these low health allies on my team? They all just ran into Annie's burning and Annie's W. And that's why people say Annie's overpowered, but not really. She just did AoE right. So I wanted to push the minion wave, but Lee Sin, as you can see, wanted to go to the tower. So he's going to get executed. I'm going to go ahead and leave since I don't have any attack speed. Uh, so my Lich Bane is okay for bursting, but not so much otherwise. You can see right there that Shining Soul, aka the Pantheon, has disconnected. It did say leave, it didn't say a quit, so we should be seeing Pantheon back in the next few minutes or so. And I'm going to go ahead and just go off towards this top lane uh, and uh, knock it back. Now there is a lane of uh, minions in the bottom lane for blue pushing off towards the bottom turret uh, for purple. So we'll see exactly who's going to pick up all of that gold. I'm just raking in the money. I'm really happy that this wave is here because I'll be able to get my Abyssal Scepter. As if we look at the Abyssal, it does cost 1910. So this minion wave should do it. I really want it. Being a little bit greedy here, this is very risky. I could die. If Pantheon could get in range for his ult, I'd be dead. Uh, but, nope. I don't know, I might be able to make it out. Anyways, Leeson's going to go ahead and mention that the Baron's going to be spawning soon. So, I'm going to go ahead and recall, mention that I have teleport. Lux and Yi are going to go ahead and do Dragon, which will be another Dragon. Or Team... Uh, uh, going to go ahead and flash out. So it probably is going to be, yep, going to be another Dragon. Four Team Purple. And now Baron's up. It's going to go ahead and get pinged by somebody. And at the same time, we're going to go ahead and just push mid lane off, so there's going to be no real minion snowballed, except for maybe... Nope. And so Leeson's going to go ahead and call for me to teleport. I'm going to go ahead and teleport to the minions up here. Maybe throw a sapling? Nope. And you can see that after I bought that epistle, I'm pretty much build complete. I can sell this chalice or something, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. And so I go ahead and get myself a blue elixir of brilliance. And so now I'm just rocking it out. I've got the 24% cooldown reduction. I've got 301 AP uh, on Maokai with that Lich Bane and that MR reduction from the Abyssal. Uh, and of course this entire cape. I'm going to go ahead and just tank this tower. We're going to be able to pick this off. Let me see what else we can do with this Baron buff. Now remember that Pantheon has reconnected, so... It's going to be a little bit scary. We're not going to face check into all of that AoE goodness. As they do have that Talon AoE, that Phil Sticks AoE, uh, Annie's Tibbers W AoE. 
So we're going to go ahead and pull off the same strategy we did last time, except we're going to go ahead and kill this tower. But, oh no, they caught on to us, so they went to exactly where I wanted them to go. I was able to get Sin rooted, but he's actually going to be able to pick up the kill onto me. And so while we catch them out of position, I of course chased Annie all the way behind the tower because I'm a tank. But our team is doing well, we're cleaning up. But I do go ahead and die right here since I did dive way too deep. And uh, just sort of pretended I was an anti-carry. And Pantheon's going to go ahead and drop his bolt down onto Vayne, so now she's going to die. And Lux is in really big trouble right here. Uh, Pantheon doesn't have his W, uh, and Lux is ghosting, so it looks like he is going to be okay. Or she is going to be okay. And so that will be that. At the same time, Lee Sin is, of course, backing off, so we did lose our Baron buff for basically, well, on three of our players, for basically one tower and some tower damage. Uh, and we kind of lost that team fight, so that's going to be fairly bad for us. We are up three kills uh, compared to Team Blue, as well as all of that Dragon Global Gold, that Baron uh, buff, and just towers alone. As uh, they only have two towers down versus we have five. Uh, that's 750 gold for every single person. If we just count that Baron, that's 300 more for every single person. So that's 1,050 for every single person. And then all of the dragons, uh, it's a crazy gold advantage. Not even looking at last hits uh, or kills. Lux, of course, going to be... Uh, I know Lux isn't actually in some sort of conversation. She was just standing there waiting for me so we could do the buddy system uh, to go after Singed. He's going to be standing around with his poison. I'm actually just going to go ahead and toss a sapling and leave him be. He's going to fall back into this jungle towards Talon, so I'm guessing that they're going to be in this jungle. I'm going to mention that Singed has Thornmail, uh, so that's mainly a warning for Bane and Yi not to focus him. And Lux is going to go ahead and say to group up since we're going to win. And that is doable, but the main concern is that we can't really push them, because they can farm minion waves really easily, and if we fight them under their tower, they're going to win. The game's still kind of close enough to do that, and just their team composition says that. He's in kind of position, he is going to be feared, but Ain's going to save her tippers. I'm going to go ahead and re so drop my ultimate. Pantheon's in trouble. He does land a good deal of his Q, but he's going to go down. Talon's going to go down, and that's just going to be a straight-up route. And it looks like we're finally going to be able to take this outer tower. I'm going to go ahead and tank this uh, turret this time. You can see my health dropping fairly badly. Bill six going to hold in, so basically I'm going to go ahead and Q in, and that will be that, or WQ, all, all that. I'm kind of low, so now Lee Sin's going to be tanking this tower. So you can see his health dropping right there. And we're going to go ahead and pick up this tower. And this is just the power of uh, winning a team fight late game. So we killed this turret. We killed this turret because of minions. We was able to take up this turret while we're taking up an inhibitor. And we're going to take up this inhibitor. And we're even going to go for this inhibitor turret over here. So he's going to go ahead and turn on his ultimate. He's going to take it this time. And get promptly assassinated right before we kill the tower. And so basically, in one push, with one execution, so the team doesn't get any, enemy team doesn't get any gold, we took out four towers and three inhibitors. Uh, and you might say, well, we might not have gotten three if this minion wave wasn't here. But other than that, that is pretty impressive. Oh no, Pantheon's going to go ahead and ult. Vayne's going to go ahead and turn on her ultimate and tumble, and then knock back uh, Pantheon. But looks like there's going to be a ward in that blue buff push, and so that is going to be pretty bad. Lux does toss her laser at Pantheon, but it's not going to do enough. And now she's going to go ahead and start fleeing from Singe, so this is pretty bad. If they can do anything with it, though, I mean, we do have so many towers up compared to them. They're not quite in position to push. You can see Fiddlesticks over here dealing with the super minions. And they're going to have to fight off super minions on all three lanes. Uh, all the super minions for the top are going to be right here. Although it's going to be a double wave of super minions. So that's them getting their crunk on with their little mechanical suits. And now they're going to just have to play defensive and let us just push some more. So 
I'm going to go ahead and sell my child's get a needlessly large rod and just a few more gold and I'm going to go ahead and get a death cap, so which I'm going to go ahead and get right now. So I figure, you know what, I might as well just spend all this crazy gold I have, sell the chalice, I won't have infinite mana, but I'll have enough mana, and that will just have to do. And I don't really have any mana regeneration items now, so it is going to have to do. I do have the extra mana from Lich Bane, that's 350. Aside of that, no real other stuff. And so, basically now, I'm a tree with a blue-red hat on me. So, that's pretty cool to be a tree with a blue-red hat. Just imagining there as I zoom in right there. Uh, e gonna be taking their wraiths. We've already gotten Dragon. Baron should be up soon. I believe, although I haven't been timing it. Uh, just an approximation. You can see via this fancy curly, since for some reason on this replay my movement's always going towards their fountain, that I'm looking for their blue. I don't quite see it. Singe is not going to go ahead and tell us to surrender and that we have no chance. And Vayne is even going to be holding a surrender vote, and it's going to go ahead and fail. One, two, four. And you can see Baron did in fact just spawn, so I'm going to go ahead and start heading over there. Vayne and everyone else is going to go ahead and get pinged. But, I don't know, I think we should just take Baron and push. And it looks like that is what we're going to do, or at least that's what I'm doing, so they better fall back. Uh, and it looks like Lee Sin and me are going to go ahead and go over to Baron. No one else is going to go ahead and go to Baron. We're going to drop an ultimate, and we're going to go ahead and just wipe out Baron. You can see his health going down in chunks. Wow, drop that large amount right there, and it is going to die. That's 300 more gold per champion over there. And there's the first use of that new ping, this uh, retreat ping. It's called Tactical Withdrawal by Swain, apparently. Uh, Alert ping, of course, has Attention Summoner as a quote by Lux. Never noticed that there before. Uh, the uh, quotes. I'm going to go ahead and dive in from the side. And this is just stupid by me. Uh, there are, of course, all the in here. Phil says the three on his ultimate. Lee Sin's going to die, and now he should die after he kills Fiddlesticks, although he did flash, he does have his ultimate up, so maybe he'll be okay, but then these two champions are sticking around when they should not be, they don't, uh, but at the same time, Supermains are able to kill this Nexus turret, so it is going to go ahead and somewhat give him a little bit of a reprieve here, and to be honest, the only reason why I came in here was because of Lee Sin's follow Maokai command way back when. Um, and they'd been mostly doing a good job of following me, so they're chasing me, so this could be bad. Uh, Supermains are about to hit this Nexus turret. I'm not even going to look over here. Pantheon kills Lux, so uh, I'm going to be up in 15. But Super Minions are attacking this Nexus tower, and it looks like three of them are in fact able to pick that up. Yi shown up, so he's able to kill Annie. And Pantheon, however, it looks like he's going to be able to just shred Yi. Uh, but super minions are pushing. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of super minions. Pantheon's fighting the super minions coming to the Nexus, but the Nexus itself is getting hit by super minions. Singe is going to go ahead and poison them, but that's not going to pick up minion aggro, so he needs to fling it. There's the HP briefly looked at. It's dropping, it's dropping. He does go ahead and fling that one minion. Things look pretty bad. Good game is called. And Vayne does come in and with two shots pick up the Nexus kill. And that will in fact be a good game and conclusion to this low elo marathon series. After this I do plan on uploading the minion videos uh, when those guys get, uh, when that mode gets released. So until then, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. This is Absurdus.